For the longest time, Apple drew the line in the sand when it came to their laptop and tablet offerings, seemingly trying to save their MacBook and iPad Pro lines from killing each other off. But now that line has been blurred with their new iPad Pro offering. And with this new amazing add-on, the Magic Keyboard, it takes it to a whole nother level, giving us a laptop experience with touch capability, something Apple has never really done before. Now, while Apple is playing catch up in regard to this, especially when compared to its direct competitor, the Surface Pro, one cannot deny when Apple decides to catch up, they catch up in a major way. Sometimes, you know, greatness takes time. Now, it comes in two different sizes. I have the 12.9 with me. It also comes in an 11 inch as well. It has an aluminum body with rounded corners and clean, sharp edges around the frame, making it extremely easy to hold. It's also surprisingly lightweight, and uh, this really reduces hand fatigue over time. The display is a 2048 by 2732 aspect ratio with 265 ppi density. It's also 120 hertz, making it extremely smooth, and this UI I just flies and it feels so snappy compared to even my older iPad. This is gonna be great for browsing and games and just the overall flow of the UI. Now Apple has finally decided to get with the times and switch over to USB-C. No more painful wait times charging your iPad with a lightning cable. No, 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 no. I throw this on a charger and come back in an hour. It's near fully charged or all the way charged at that point. Battery life is exceptional as well. I maybe only have to charge this about twice a week with heavy usage. And with my old iPad, that was one of my biggest pain points is that like when it was low on battery, I had to wait to use it. Now I can use it within a couple of minutes and I know it's gonna last me. They also have this genius design of being able to wirelessly charge your Apple Pencil at the top, but take it from me, the magnet does not hold the pencil that well uh, while it's charging, so it's not that strong. If you're walking around with this iPad and you bump it or knock it on something, let's just say I had to replace an Apple Pencil already. <laughs> They have plenty of storage options ranging from 128 gigabytes all the way up to a one terabyte. The RAM stays the same across the, all the configurations at six gigs. There is no headphone jack, but they have given us these four amazing speakers, two on each side, giving us a surround sound like experience. And these babies get loud. If you want to consume content like shows or movies, it's, it's a great experience, guys. Take it from me. No tinniness or distortion at high volumes. It's just perfect. Inside this monster of a tablet is Apple's latest and greatest, the A12Z Bionic chip, which has an octa-core processor and eight cores for graphics. This is going to improve multitasking overall. If not, it's probably just straight overkill at this point. In my time with the iPad Pro, I've never seen it struggle or hang once. Digital designers will be able to definitely take advantage of the power that this machine has. If you are doing some light codec video editing, like some H.264, it can handle it. When you start working around raw workflows or heavier codecs, that's when it's time to step up to a MacBook Pro. I predominantly use this for note taking and photo editing. If I were still a student and I just needed a machine for strictly productivity, I'd probably go with one of these over a standard MacBook 100%. As for the cameras, they have a seven megapixel face detection camera that goes up to 1080p 60 frames per second it looks decent enough to get the job done in most cases it is at a weird angle so i'll be holding up the ipad sideways sometimes and my thumb will actually be blocking the camera and the sensor in my face id doesn't work i gotta enter in my password it's a mess so i would like to see them maybe put a second camera along the long edge of the ipad that'd be pretty cool that'd be a good idea right maybe something for apple to think about in the future now on the back side they have three cameras a 12 megapixel wide a 10 megapixel ultra wide and a tof 3d lidar scanner hopefully i said that right for depth and that just helps with the 3d environmental programs i don't think that i'll be using that anytime soon but maybe that could be great for pokemon That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, right? <laughs> the video can go up to 4K, 60 frames per second, and the footage looks pretty good, but who really is lugging this around to take pictures? The UI is Apple's 13.4 and now adds keyboard control within the app, as well as full mouse and trackpad pointer support. Hell yeah, finally. Good for you, Apple. You can connect a keyboard and a mouse via the Bluetooth and it shows up as this little black spot on your screen. They do a really good job at allowing you to still use it as a tablet and using the mouse and keyboard as well. It's a great mix and I find myself still tapping as well as using the keyboard and the mouse. I definitely use all three together in perfect harmony. Now it doesn't work for every single app, so keep that in mind. What's more is that they've released the new Magic Keyboard for $300, which is pretty pricey. So you'd be looking at close to $1,400 for, you know, that's 
kind of getting to like laptop levels as the 12.9 the version I have starts at $1,000 for the lowest configuration to so add on another $300 this thing is getting pretty pricey but uh I mean, is that any surprise? It's Apple. Now this new Magic Keyboard cover connects with the three pins on the back like it did on the other one. Uh, and it stays in place. It's very strong, it's very sturdy, a very smooth experience that doesn't add too much thickness to the overall size of the iPad, although kind of makes it almost the same size as my MacBook Pro. But still, there's something about this form factor that I really, really like over a normal MacBook and why I take it everywhere with me. It also does make it slightly heavier, taking a little bit more of that iPad Pro magic away. You see what I did there? You open the keyboard, which also protects the screen when it is not in use. It then has this crease, which allows you to fold and tilt your iPad to your desired angle. I feel like the angle is a little bit limited, but I get why they did it, because they needed to keep some rigidity to the cover so that the screen just won't fall all over the place and not stay in place now layout is a 60 percent layout and you guys know that we love those the keys feel nice and tactile and they are backlit not a bad typing experience at all you know what guys let's just drop a sound test why not Now it also has a trackpad feature which allows you to do double tapping and gestures like swiping to go to the home screen. Swiping left or right allows you to go to different apps which is really cool. Along the case there is a USB-C pass through on there as well which is really cool. Speaking of USB-C you can connect a dongle and actually allow for more USB-A ports making this closer to a laptop experience. Crazy good design that has essentially blurred the lines for Apple but before I finish with my final thoughts we have a word from today's sponsor Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills with the premium membership it gives you unlimited access to join the perfect community to get the skills you need to become successful in your field me personally i've used a few classes in the past when i was learning after effects for my videos and it took my videos to the next level and they've also got this new class by thomas frank on mastering habits it's extremely affordable at less than ten dollars a month for the annual subscription and because skillshare is sponsoring this video you can use the link in the description to get a two month free trial so don't sleep guys make 2020 your year now this is finally a viable pro device scratch that it's an everybody device especially if you want to get things done in your life i know when i need to just disconnect i just take my ipad pro i go outside i sit very minimal i love it it just gets the job done now if i could add something to this device it would be like an sd card slot that would be cool for professionals out there i think a lot of creative people would appreciate that it really does make a difference not having to carry around just one more thing but i get it apple's trying to move towards this seamless sleek design for users but with all that being said the ipad pro gets a thumbs up from your boy it's kind of cheesy huh thumbs up for your boy <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.